free money could actually be a potentially deadly trick. A sheriff in Tennessee is warning his community about folded up dollar bills that tested positive for methamphetamine and fentanyl. That sheriff says it happened on two separate occasions, both times at gas stations. And that sheriff, Nick Weems of Perry County, joins us now. Sheriff Weems, thank you so much for being with us. Hey, thank you. Well, Sheriff, have you seen anything like this before? Uh, we have, uh, we've seen pieces of paper. Uh, we've, we've actually gotten people in traffic stops who would carry that in like a uh, sticky note or a, a folded up piece of uh, notebook paper. Uh, it, this, and the dollar bills, no. Uh, this is something that, that we've started seeing just recently. You know, and Sheriff, do you believe this was intentional? Was it possibly that maybe the money simply fell out of someone's pocket? I, I don't, I, at this time, I don't think it's nothing intentional. I think it's just being reckless and careless. Um, there, right after those two incidents, like one was back at the end of May, and then the last one or the other one that I made the post over was uh, the seventh of uh, July, and then two days later after we made that post, there was a, now a third incident on that Friday uh, where a ten dollar bill was found in a local state park in our county by the maintenance guy. Um, so it does seem does seem kind of weird, but I, I think it's just uh, I don't think nobody's placing that to, to uh, intentionally hurt somebody. It's just I think it's a matter of being careless. Now you said you said the seventh of July there, but you meant the seventh of June, right? Happened this month. June. Okay. Yeah, June. I'm yeah. sorry. No, that's okay. That's all right. Now, so you made this post yeah, about yeah. it. You found these these uh, this money with with these traces of drugs on it. What about what would you say to people who say, oh, this is an overreaction? Well, um, you know, in my community, I'm, I'm very involved with uh, my community. We live in a small community, um, and I communicate uh, with with all of my people uh, a lot of times via Facebook and uh, and put warnings out to them about things. And you know, as far as I'm concerned, my community uh, it's well receptive. They don't they don't feel like it's an overreaction because we do care about our children. And you know I've got kids, and I would want if if uh, if I was on the other side of the, the, the fence, I would want people to uh, warn me about that, so I could warn my children uh, to not not just go and snatch something up and open it up. Well, you know? yeah, absolutely, so, and, and better to be safe than sorry, I would imagine. Um, you know, Sheriff, I, I know Perry County sits just south of I-40, which is a major interstate. Do you have any indication that that drug trafficking may have played a role in these incidents? Uh, no, not at this time. I don't think so. I think that uh, I think people is just uh, carrying it that way just because it can be maybe more concealed or maybe think if we do find it on them that we won't think nothing about it. We'll just think it's money and, you know, go on. But uh, I know I don't I don't feel like that any type of drug trafficking has anything to do with it. I think it's just a method that people started doing and uh, it's it's uh it's not good. Sheriff Nick Weems of Perry County, Tennessee, thank you so much. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.